Welcome back gamers to another GGM gaming video and today is a good day. Why is that? Because Joyce Journeys is back in the game. Joyce Journeys has become available today, December the 13th, 2022 in World of Warcraft. Let's take a look at what the Joyce Journeys buff is, how long it's here for and the best ways to take advantage of it to level your character fast in Wrath of the Lich King. So, what is the Joyous Journeys buff for those that are unfamiliar? The Joyous Journeys buff was previously available during the pre-patch leading up to the Wrath of the Lich King expansion's release, giving players an opportunity to level new characters or alts in advance of the new expansion's maximum level of 80. Much to the dismay of many players, it was finally removed with the release of the new expansion, but now, for a limited time, it's back. The buff will be active until January the 16th, 2023, providing players with a little over a month of boosted experience. However, for those players who prefer to level at the standard pace, you can disable the buff by visiting an innkeeper in any major capital city. The Joyce Journeys buff is able to stack with any heirloom equipment that you might have, providing players with a potential boost of up to 75% more experience, excluding rested XP of course. Such a powerful experience buff is not commonly available in WoW outside of heirloom gear, so its return will be welcomed by many players. The reason for the January 16th end date of the buff has not been specified, but some players are speculating that it might coincide with the release of the upcoming Phase 2, which does not currently have a set release date. So how can you take advantage of the Joyous Journeys buff and level fast? Well, one of the methods that I'll be sharing today is Alteret Valley, and that's a really good method of leveling up fast with the Joyce Journeys buff. This will be especially true during the Alteret Valley Call to Arms event, which starts on the 23rd of December and lasts until the 26th of December. So throw those Christmas plans out the window. Players should expect to earn hundreds of thousands of experience for destroying objectives and for winning the battle. I will personally be using this method to level my ults because not only do you get masters of experience, you also get plenty of honour, so you can kit yourself out in some decent gear once you do hit 80, and then you'll be able to get straight into endgame content. I tested an Alter at Valley here, I started on 81% and I ended on 89%, earning a total of 121k XP for one game. If you missed out on the Call to Arms event or you just don't like PvP, then another method that you might find surprising is straight up mob grinding. Due to the huge increase of experience gained from the buff, amplified if you have heirlooms and rested XP, it can be more efficient to grind mobs in a small area rather than wasting time running between quest objectives. A few examples of mobs that you can use to grind experience from 70 to 80 are the packs of Silverwings in Howling Fjord, the packs of sea lions in Howling Fjord as well, packs of rhinos in Burian Tundra, the mobs in the crypt underneath Winter God Keep in Dragonblight, Swindlegrin's Dig in Shalazar Basin, the packs of mammoths in the Storm Peaks, such as the Plain of Echoes, and finally the packs of mobs in the Ice Crown Glacier. I may cover these grinding spots in a different video if there's any interest. The third method I'll be sharing is playing old questing, and this will definitely be useful for those of you with a flying mount, especially if you have the 280% speed mount. Having flying will drastically cut your journey time between quest objectives, which is the biggest loss of experience when questing. Following a guide such as Zygor or Rested XP can make your questing experience even faster by telling you exactly where you need to go next and which quests you need to complete although it isn't necessary to have a guide. If you would like to go this route, then I have provided a special discount code for my viewers to receive a discount on the Rested XP add-on in the description of this video. I hope you'll find this video useful in leveling your characters. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.